Welcome, everyone, from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a sermon by Saint Leo the Great. Pope. Christ lives in his church. My dear brethren, there is no doubt that the Son of God took our human nature into so close a union with himself that one and the same Christ is present. not only in the firstborn of all creation, but in all his saints as well. The head cannot be separated from the members, nor the members from the head. Not in this life, it is true, but only in eternity will God be all in all. Yet, even now, He dwells whole and undivided in His temple, the Church. Such was his promise to us when he said, See, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. And so, all that the Son of God did and taught for the world's reconciliation is not for us simply a matter of past history. Here and now we experience His power at work among us. born of a virgin mother by the action of the Holy Spirit Christ keeps his church spotless and makes her fruitful by the inspiration of the same Spirit In baptismal regeneration, she brings forth children for God beyond all numbering. These are 
the sons of whom it is written. They are born not of blood, nor of the desire of the flesh. nor of the will of man, but of God. But it is not only the martyrs who share in his passion by their glorious courage. The same is true by faith of all who are reborn through baptism. That is why we are to celebrate the Lord's Paschal sacrifice with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The leaven of our former malice is thrown out and a new creature is filled and inebriated with the Lord himself. For the effect of our sharing in the body and blood of Christ is to change us into what we receive. As we have died with him and have been buried and raised to life with him, so we bear him within us both in body and in spirit in everything we do. From the desert with desert faith this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence all In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.